Oh, we got a problem here? We got a problem here? We got a problem. Oh, what up with this? Run away. Can we have one night where there ain't no fight, nobody gets shot? In the early 90s, Boys and the Hood movie burst onto the scene, painting a raw and unfiltered picture of life in South Central Los Angeles. This masterpiece, crafted by the talented John Singleton, brought together a stellar cast that would leave an indelible mark on Hollywood. So we hear you want to direct this movie, and I said, I'm going to direct this film. And I said, well, why do you think you can direct this film? And I said, because I was born to direct it. While stars like Ice Cube and Regina King soared to fame, there were others whose paths took a darker turn, mirroring the gritty realities depicted in the film. Lloyd Avery was one such individual, a promising actor whose life seemed to intertwine with the tragic narratives he portrayed on screen. As a young actor, Lloyd shared the limelight with some of the biggest names in the industry, a beacon of potential in a world ready to embrace him. So this picture is a picture of me and Lloyd and a couple of the main characters from Boys in the Hood. Everybody were just young. But as time went on, the bright future that seemed almost guaranteed began to fade. Lloyd found himself caught in a cycle of typecasting, struggling to separate his on-screen persona from his real-life identity. I think the fame and notoriety Lloyd got after Boys in the Hood got to him. Lloyd may have become a little trapped by it and became as the character that the he portrayed. Of Lloyd Avery's life, we find a tale that serves as a grim testament to the thin line that separates art from reality. A journey marked by fleeting fame and a descent into a world of crime and violence, Lloyd's story is a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of life in the limelight. I got a call from the director and he's like, Echo, you're never gonna believe this. Lloyd's in jail. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why? The young actor's life thrived in the vibrant and bustling streets of Los Angeles, where Lloyd took his first steps into a world that promised fame and fortune. Born on June 21st, 1969, the talented young man grew up with dreams that seemed almost within reach in the city that housed the glittering world of Hollywood. As a young man, Lloyd was no stranger to the allure of the silver screen. His initial foray into the world of acting was marked by minor roles, yet it was evident that he possessed a spark, a raw talent that had the potential to flourish in the right environment. I saw Lloyd as a very decent person. Lloyd was really sweet. The actor's career took a promising turn in 1991 when he landed a role in John Singleton's groundbreaking film, Boys in the Hood. In this film, he portrayed the character of Knucklehead 2, a role that, while minor, left a lasting impact on audiences due to its raw and authentic portrayal of gang life in South Central LA. So Lloyd and I, both in the film, we were part of the, the gang. He was Knucklehead number two and I was Knucklehead number one but I think his role was a little bit more seminal. Despite the brief screen time, Lloyd managed to imprint his presence, showcasing a depth that hinted at a promising future. His portrayal resonated with viewers, etching a memorable mark in a film that was laden with powerful performances. So Avery's story is tragic. I got this picture from a stack and I looked at it and I said, oh wow, this is the guy. As the LA native ventured further into his career, the lines between his on-screen characters and his real life began to blur, setting the stage for a series of events that would see his life mirror the tragic narratives he portrayed on screen. Following his newfound fame after his brief cameo in the film Boys in the Hood, Lloyd found himself at a crossroads. He became increasingly involved in the gang culture prevalent in his neighborhood, known as the Jungles in South Central LA, a place notorious for its heavy gang activity and violence. He lived in the jungles. The jungles are a neighborhood in South Central LA, it's La Brea and Coliseum. Lloyd's descent was gradual yet alarming. He began associating with the Bloods, a notorious gang with a strong presence in his neighborhood. His involvement with the gang escalated over time, with the young actor adopting a lifestyle that seemed to echo the violent tendencies of the characters he portrayed on screen. Around me, he was the character on camera. I know that he had a, his entourage that came with him and the guys around him were all armed. He was known to arrive with stolen cars on the set, a sign that he was hiding something, perhaps a glimpse into the unstable life he was leading off camera. This period marked a series of unfortunate events, with Lloyd becoming more entrenched in criminal activities, distancing himself further from the promising career that once seemed within his grasp. Showed up to the casting call in, on his rollerblades. He'd show up on a skateboard. He'd show up on a bike. 
He'd show up in a car and he claimed that he stole it to get there. The once promising actor found himself spiraling out of control with the bright lights of Hollywood growing dimmer as he ventured further into a world of darkness and despair. As Lloyd became more entrenched in the criminal underworld, his actions began to mirror the violent roles he once portrayed on screen, a true testament of walking the talk. What followed was devastating to say the least. By late 90s, Lloyd's life had taken a completely dark turn. His involvement with the Bloods gang had escalated to the point where he actively participated in criminal activities. The neighborhood known as The Jungles became the backdrop of a series of violent incidents with the actor at the center of it all. It is known for heavy gang activity and violence. Obviously, there was much more going on than I knew about him. His newfound risky career aligned with the increased criminal activities in and around L.A. In 1999, heading to the millennium, the city of Los Angeles witnessed a series of shootings that sent shockwaves through the community. The police were on high alert, collecting evidence from various crime scenes in a bid to track down the perpetrators. Among the evidence collected were shell casings that would later play a crucial role in unraveling the truth behind the crimes. When the police ran the shell casings that they recovered from the shooting at the Santa Barbara Plaza, something really interesting happened. As the investigations progressed, a horrifying picture began to emerge. Lloyd was identified as a key suspect in a double homicide case. The victims, identified only as Annette and Percy, were gunned down in one of the brutal attacks. The shell casings recovered from the scene match those found in other shootings that had occurred earlier that year, linking Lloyd to a series of crimes. A car pulled up and somebody was talking to Annette about some money or something and a man started shooting. Annette tried to run and get away. The revelation shocked those who knew the young actor, unable to reconcile the image of Lloyd they once knew with the hardened criminal he had become. The Lloyd they remembered was a talented individual with a promising future, not someone capable of such heinous acts. I couldn't believe it. Like, I, I was just like, Lloyd? It was laughable to me. Lloyd was the last person I would have expected to be in the gang. As the net closed in, the police received a tip-off that led them to Lloyd's grandmother's house, where he was arrested. The once promising star's life had spiraled into a dark abyss, a tragic tale of potential unfulfilled and a life lost to the brutal realities of gang violence. The news of his arrest sent shockwaves through the Hollywood community. Those who knew him struggled to digest what had just unraveled right before their eyes. As the industry grappled with the news, reflections on Lloyd's life began to surface. Those who worked closely with him remembered a man of immense talent, someone who had a promising future ahead of him. His captivating presence on screen was undeniable, with many recalling his mesmerizing eyes and striking features. He had these gorgeous eyes. He was, he was tall, he was just a good looking guy and he was also fiercely talented. But the Lloyd they knew also had a darker side, a side that became increasingly apparent as he delved deeper into the criminal underworld. His transformation was not only evident in his actions, but also in the company he kept, surrounded by individuals who were equally entrenched in the violent gang culture of South Central LA. The tragic trajectory of the young actor's life serves as a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the thin line that separates art from reality. His story is a testament to the complex interplay between life and art, where the boundaries between the two can sometimes blur, leading to tragic consequences. The entire Hollywood was rooted in shock. Many couldn't help but wonder what could have been. Could Lloyd have turned his life around, finding redemption and reclaiming his place in Hollywood? Unfortunately, the world would never know, as the actor's career was cut tragically short, leaving behind a legacy marred by violence and tragedy. Boys N. The Hood kickstarted several careers despite the loss of Avery. Behind the shadow of towering figures like Ice Cube and Cuba Gooding Jr., there were others, the unsung heroes of film, who contributed significantly to the story's fabric. Their performances, though not as celebrated, were pivotal in painting a vivid picture of life in South Central Los Angeles. Alicia Rogers, who portrayed Shanice, the loving and supportive girlfriend of Ricky Baker, played by Morris Chestnut, took a step back from the limelight to focus on raising her daughter. Though her appearances on the big screen were sparse, her role in the movie left an indelible mark. Then there is Dedrick D. Gobert, who played the role of Dookie, a character known for his trademark pacifier, also had a life that mirrored the violence depicted in the film. 
In 1994, at the young age of 22, he was fatally shot in a drag racing incident, a grim reminder of the realities that the movie portrayed. Not mentioning Regina King, who played the role of Shalika, would be an injustice. King went on to have a highly successful career, earning accolades and recognition in both film and television. Her journey is a testament to the talent that Boys in the Hood brought together, a melting pot of potential stars who were given a platform to shine. Undoubtedly, Boys in the Hood created stories of triumph, perseverance, and tragedy, echoing the complex narrative woven within the film itself. Angela Bassett, who graced the screen as Reva Devereaux, Trey's mother, embarked on a remarkable journey post-movie. Her portrayal of strong, resilient characters in various films has cemented her status as a powerhouse performer in Hollywood. Not stopping at Bassett, there is Tyra Farrell, who played the role of Brenda Baker, Ricky's mother, who also continued to grace the screens with her powerful performances. Her journey in the industry is marked by a series of roles that showcase her versatility and depth as an actress. The journey of these actors and actresses post Boys and the Hood is a testament to the film's ability to bring together a group of immensely talented individuals. Their stories, both on and off screen, continue to resonate, offering a glimpse into the lives that were intricately linked to this cinematic masterpiece. Ultimately, we hold a mirror to the vibrant tapestry of lives and careers that were shaped in part by their involvement in this groundbreaking film. Their journeys remind us of the enduring legacy of Boys and the Hood, a legacy that transcends the screen to touch the lives of those who were a part of it. Without any shred of doubt, the film stands as a beacon of cultural significance, a film that not only depicted the harsh realities of life in South Central Los Angeles, but also managed to transcend its narrative to foster a deeper understanding and appreciation of the black community's experiences. Of course, you know there's gang violence, but this shows everything on a wider spectrum. It shows people just living in the community, um, uh, kids, friendships. The film's impact reverberates even today, over 30 years later, as it continues to hold a mirror to society, urging viewers to look beyond the stereotypes and witness the vibrant, complex lives that unfold in the heart of South Central. It serves as a potent reminder of the struggles, the camaraderie, and the resilience that defines this community. Looking at the legacy left by the cast members, including Lloyd Avery II, we find a tapestry of stories that are as diverse as they are interconnected. The film not only catapulted the careers of many young actors, but also ignited a spark that would lead to a greater representation of black actors and actresses in Hollywood. In the words of Cuba Gooding Jr., the film served as a catalyst, fostering interest in the black community's narratives and paving the way for more inclusive storytelling in the industry. It marked a turning point, ushering in an era where black stories were not just told, but celebrated. So now that there's an interest, now that it's making money, the studios are allowing more films to happen, which in turn creates more roles for black actors, black actresses. Now we can look back at the monumental impact of Boys in the Hood, a film that not only defined a generation, but continues to inspire and educate audiences today, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of American cinema. To this day, the film, a raw and unfiltered glimpse into the heart of South Central Los Angeles, has stood the test of time, fostering understanding and empathy across communities. The stories of Lloyd Avery II and the other cast members serve as a testament to the power of cinema, a medium that has the ability to transcend boundaries and touch hearts. Through their individual journeys, we witness the highs and lows, the triumphs and tragedies that define the human experience. Looking at the indelible mark left by Boys and the Hood, fans are reminded of the transformative power of storytelling, a force that not only brings to light the untold stories of communities, but also fosters a deeper connection and understanding among people from all walks of life. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.